Hey y'all, it's Bethany with the Wandering Pearl Podcast, and welcome to episode 37. It snowed! Look how pretty it is. Um, We were supposed to get like 20 to 30 inches of snow, and we got like 5, but it's white and it's pretty, although it is forecasted to rain this weekend, so it might not last for long. I might sound a little funny because I have been sick for the last week or so, and that is going to be why this episode is not as long as the normal one. I just don't feel very well, and I don't feel like doing a whole, whole bunch. So I'm not going to have any questions in this one just because I need it to be a little shorter, but we'll have more next time. So I'm going to talk about more about life and all of that at the end, but just because I've been sick doesn't mean that I haven't been knitting. I have been knitting a lot and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, And I have three finished objects to share with you and then also some works in progress. So we're gonna just jump right in and head to the finished objects. My first finished object is my knee highs. So these are some socks that I was working on in bless you, Remy. Sorry, the dog just sneezed. Um, We're working on in the last podcast, and um, this kind of a pattern of my own that I created a few years ago, um, and I've really enjoyed making them, and I'm really excited to make them, or to wear them, because I haven't worn them yet. I was just waiting to show them to you guys, Um, but for the pattern, I have all the information on Ravelry. When I was looking for a knee-high a knee high cuff down sock about in 2020 2021 I couldn't find one um so I kind of just created my own and put all of that information on Ravelry so if you are kind of wanting to copy them you can look there for all of that information and feel free to ask me any questions also um so I am using two skeins from my stash and kind of doing a Mandy's making share a pair type thing so I'm just um striping the socks is what I did. So I really love how they turned out. Are you ready to see them? So here they are. I love how the striping just turned out and how fun they are. Um, I actually haven't even tried them on, but you'll be seeing a video of me wearing them hopefully in a couple minutes. So then I will have tried them on. (laughs) But um, I did a heel flap and gusset and then just my regular toe on here. I did three stripes for each color, um, except for the very beginning, I did 10, um, 10 rounds of this main color first. And I realized something, hold on, when I was blocking them the other day, do these cuffs look, hold on, they're too long for the uh, sock blockers, um, but there are sock blockers in there just to make it look better. But do you notice the uh, cuffs? They're, um, they might be a little different. So this one looks like it's one by one and this one's two by two. I don't know how I did that, but here we are. That is what we did. So I'm really excited for these. They are just so long and fun. Um, I really enjoyed wearing my others during Vlogmas, so it inspired me to make some more, and it was a fun knit, so I enjoyed doing that. So my main color is this one right here, and it is by Wool and Vinyl. There we go, her tag, Wool and Vinyl. This is Message in a Bottle. It is a, an exclusive colorway to the Yarn Club in Norfolk, Virginia. Um, I'll have their information down below, but I just fell in love with this yarn when I saw it, and I absolutely love it. So I'm glad that I finally used this skein, Um, and I love how it turned out in these socks. I've also used two other skeins um, for the Summer Court Tank by Dragon Horde Yarn Designs, um, or Dragon Horde Designs, I think is what it's called. Um, So I just love this yarn so much. I have more to make something else. Um, the second, my contrasting color, which is this, the one that I was striping with. Oh, you can also see right there. This is the side where I changed colors. I don't think it looks too bad, but there's definitely a little jog. Um, I'm not sure. I got this in a swap, so I'm not sure who this is by, but this is all that I have left. So I am very grateful that I had enough for that. And then the toes and heel, I used a mini that I had. I believe it's Sorella, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, And this is what I have left of that one. 
So I'm really happy to have those used up. And I have how many grams I used. So for the main color here, I used 56.45 grams. For my little contrast, um, which to begin with was about 50 grams, I used 46.69 grams. And then for my mini, I used 12.22 grams. Um, so that equaled 115.36 grams for the whole socks and a 461.44 yards. It got me 31 points for the pigskin party, which is exciting. And I ended up using a size two to cast on and do the first 10 rows. And then after that, I switched over to a US one, um, which is a 2.25 millimeter. And then again, all the information is on Ravelry. So you can check it out there to see exactly um, what I did. <laughs> it basically just tells you, like this one I actually did a little shorter than the original pair that I did. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so the original pair, I think I did a hundred and some rows before I decreased. And this one I was like, no. And I'm really glad that I didn't because I would have ran out of my contrast. But yeah, I'm happy with those. And I'm happy that they're all finished and I can wear them now. My second finished object is something that I cast on because I was inspired uh, and I just had to make it and I was really excited to cast it on and I made it in like three days while I was very sick and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I think it kept me going and kept me just entertained so I really loved it. But in the Love and Stitches membership, we are doing a doodle along for the month of January. Um, and a doodle is a patterns by Jamie Lomax. She has made so many beautiful patterns, um, like a Rhineback Cal, and she has the Winter Wonderland. She's done the stockings that I talk about wanting to make so often. Um, so this is based off of her doodles. I have the Rhineback um, doodle. Also, I have the holiday doodle and the, the one with the foxes, autumn doodle maybe. So I have those three doodles and I used those to kind of make this mismatch of doodles. Um, and I saw someone on our, in our group, Enya, she made the most beautiful hot water bottle cover. And the moment I saw it, I knew that I wanted to copy her. Um, so I was like, I'm going to copy you. I hope you don't mind. Um, and she was like, yeah, that's great. So I was happy that she was okay with it. But it is absolutely so fun. I already had a hot water bottle and I was wanting to make a cover for it. Because um, when it gets, we got down to like a negative something the other night. And it was pretty chilly. Um, and then we were also sick. So it was like we were cold. So yeah we have needed some extra warmth in the house. Um, so I decided to copy her and I'm just going to show you real fast what it looks like. It's already been used. Um, so please ignore any hair. It's also been used for the kitten at night sometimes. Um, so yes, let me take this off, but look at this. Is this not the cutest thing ever? Um, I cannot take the credit again. Anya came up with it. Hers is a little different than mine, um, but I am in love with this so, so much. I think it turned out so, look how cute that is. Oh my gosh, I love it. And of course, it's on the hot water bottle. Um, so yes, let me tell you about the patterns and all the information and all of that. So the pattern for that, that I followed for the hot water bottle cover is all you need a classic by, um, London Leo. And then most, almost every single doodle is from the Rhineback doodle, Rhineback doodle. Um, and I think one other one, I think the mountains might be from the holiday doodle. So both the doodle pattern and the hot water bottle pattern call for DK weight yarn. And we all know I don't have DK weight yarn. I mean, I have a little bit, but nothing that I could like make this with. Um, so at first I was like, okay, I'm just going to adapt it and do it to fingering. I might still have the photo. If I do, I will post it here. Um, but uh, it was too small and it just wasn't working. So I ripped it all out and then I decided I would hold fingering weight double. So I have had this yarn from Moon Glow um, for 
oh, forever, two years. I've had it for two years. It was a 50 gram skein of spun sugar. I had gotten it when I was doing the test knit for Natalie of Nitty Natty of her, um, why can't I think of it? Her Valentine socks. Can't heart, heart, candy heart socks, something like that. I can't remember. Anyways, I've had this in there forever and just never used it. And I was like, you know what? I think this might be a good time to use it because I knew I wanted a cream um, background for it. Um, so then I went through all of my scraps. I used um, mostly Moon Glow also, but a lot of other ones. Like I held two different greens for the grass and I held two different grays for the gray here in the mountains um, and just kind of winged it. And I really love how it turned out, but I just held everything double um, and went with the pattern. I was a little worried that it was going to be too tight, but once I blocked it, it blocked out wonderfully and it just fits like a glove. So I really, really love that. I think the pattern called for like a US 5 and I ended up using a US 3. Um, it just ended up working better for me. Um, let me see what else did I say. I started it on the 9th and finished it on the 11th. So I really, it was a really fast working. Um, and I was worried about my, here, let me see if I can show you. Take it off real fast. I was worried about my floats. I'm always worried about my floats. I think I overcomplicate it. Um, but my floats, I think, turned out okay. The sheep are the only ones where I was using three strands at once. So it got a little bit tight with those. But these are what my floats look like on the back. And since it's just like a hot water bottle cover and it's not going to be taken off that often, I thought they were okay. Um, so I absolutely love this pattern. It's so fun. And I've thought about making another one because it was just so fun to make. And then like, you know, just making a little scene with all the doodles because Jamie has done such a wonderful job with it. Um, so I really enjoyed it. A lot, a lot of fun. Um, a little bit more information, grams. It was 75.44 grams of yarn and that equaled 301.76 yards and I got 24 points for the pigskin party which we only have like less than a month for the pigskin party so I need to get cracking on some things but that was the second work in or second finished object that I have and then my last one I am so so excited to share with you is my blanket I finished it I I'm so, so excited. So I took some video and some pictures and I'm going to show you so you can see up, like up close what it looks like and how beautiful it is. Um, I have not blocked it yet or washed it because it's going in the truck and I figure it's, the truck's not clean. So I don't need to clean it. It's not like it's dirty or anything. It's just been sitting on me being knit, but I love this so, so much. So let's go over the information for it. Um, it is a cozy comfort throw by a homespun house. I used a US 8, which is a five millimeter needle. I held a bear yarn from Knit Picks and then a scrap yarn from all of my um, scrappy advents that I had last month and knit it together. I absolutely love it. I have all of the grams broken down on my Ravelry page. So if you want to go check that out, you can. Um, I got more yarn for this, um, so it would have been done a little earlier. I got the yarn and then I realized, you know, it's almost just about as long as it needs to be. So after I had gotten the yarn for it, it was like three days and it was finished. So that was really great. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm getting all, all croaky here. But I did do the, trying to see, I don't know which side is the right side. Um, I did do the the, the um, bind off, the I-cord bind off, which took two nights to do. It was a lot of work, um, but I'm really happy that I finished it off that way. I used scraps exclusively from my advents. I also have a picture here of the, the, the um, 
10 gram minis that I have left. There are not a lot of those. And a lot of these were just, um, they either had too much white and I didn't think they would contrast very well or they were just a little too dark for it. Um, but mostly I used everything else and that's from Advents from um, Laurie, Sabra, Amber, and Stephanie that I got in December. So yeah, I took out, I also did take out a lot of the, um, uh, solid color ones. So those are all the variegated because I'm going to use the solid ones for other things, but I am just so happy to have this. So happy it's done. I know because it's so squishy that it is going to stretch a whole bunch. Um, but I did write down how much it measures right now unblocked and unused. And I put that on my phone. So let me see if I can find it. Oh, um, I'm going to put it on the screen because I put it on my phone's notes and it's not coming over to my computer right now, but it was like 48 by 46 and a half. I think, I think that's what it was, but it'll be on the screen for you just in case. So do you guys want to know how many grams and yards I used for this? Oh my God. I'm so excited. So I've already put it in for pig skin party, which made me happy. That was like my main goal to get it done before um, Super Bowl Sunday. <clears throat> but look, it's so pretty. I, I really, really enjoyed this. I didn't think that I would ever knit a blanket because I've tr I knit a baby blanket before and it just took forever. So I was like, I'm never going to be able to make one like it just takes a lot longer than crocheting a blanket but <clears throat> i did it and i am so excited and brian's really excited because he gets to put it in the truck tomorrow um and put it in the and keep it warm keep him warm during the uh rides and everything so i'm excited our heater isn't working very well in the truck so this is a much needed for him so let's talk about the yards i kept meticulous um meticulous, what am I saying, notes on the yardage that I used with every single mini. And you can see that on my Ravelry page. I also kept all of the um, information on the bear skin, bear skin, the bear yarn that I was using. I was using um, this one from Knit Picks for most of them. And then I had two skeins from, that was Knit Picks, but it was a different base also. Um, so this is... 460 yards for 100 grams. I used two full skeins of this and two full skeins of the other organic yarn that I had um, and then a little bit more of a third skein of this one. <clears throat> and this is what it looks like when you get it. Just to show you. I hand wound this by by hand obviously because that's what hand wound means um, for the last one because I didn't feel like getting my swift out. So that was fun but it didn't take too long. Um, so was lucky but I have two more of these that I got so I can have them for maybe another blanket or um anything else any I think it's just nice to have some bear yarn on hand so I do have those those are some acquisitions I'm not these are like the only acquisitions so consider this your acquisitions part <laughs> my mind is so scattered okay finally I'm going to tell you so for total grams of the blanket, I used 929.72 grams. That is the scraps and the bear yarn. Then for the total yards, it was 3,938.24 yards. That's a lot. I am so loving that. And I got 776 points for the pigskin party. I... I'm so excited. I love that. So it took me, if I hadn't had to get more yarn, I think it would have taken me right at probably a month to make it. Um, but it did take me about, yeah, um, six weeks to make. So I just loved it. It was just such a fun make. Um, it was something mindless that I needed and it was just so fun. So I'm so glad to have that done. Uh, I might make another one in the future. I'm not sure. We'll see. But that's all the finished objects I have for this time. 
I have a couple works in progress to share with you. You have seen both of these ones that are actually started, and then I have another one that I'm about to start. But I'm still working on my Cozy Knitter socks. Um, these are socks that I'm making from the Cozy Knitter Advent Skein of 2023 with my friend Stephanie. And I am doing the Hill Toe do, -si do pattern by Kay Litton of this Crazy Sock Lady. And I am absolutely loving it. It is so fun. We are down to like the last five-ish days, I think. Um, so these are will be done next time for sure. I did 64 stitches for my size. And I actually... For this, I changed the pattern a little bit. So the pattern is only written to be on the front side of the sock, but for me, I really like it to be on the front and the back. So I just adapted it to do it on the front and back of the leg as well. I am using a one US one two one two point two five millimeter needle. They're my chai chow goos, and I'm doing magic loop as I always do. And I did twenty rounds of two by two ribbing. Is it two by two? No, 20 rounds of one by one ribbing. That wasn't right. And a hill flap and guess it. So here is what we have so far. I'm also using a contrast. Someone told me how to say the name and now I've forgotten. But it is Nano Stitch Lab in Di Diana Fossey maybe. She's the lady with the gorillas and I can't remember. Thank you to who told me. I just wish I could remember. Um, but that is the gray that I am using for my contrast. Um, so here is the front and I have just last night finished my decreases for the gusset. So it is just clear knitting from here on. I am a little worried I'm going to run out of yarn. I always feel like that. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. But if so, I'll just grab a skein and do something on the back. I don't know. But I'm really happy with how these are turning out. So this is, um, you guys know, I've told you a million times, but Stephanie made these for me. They are the Mini Yarn Cozy Lights by Nitty Natty. I love them. Here's the second one I have. Also another Yarn Cozy. You can see I just did it on both sides slip stitch heel flap and gusset and I don't know what I did to that one I think that'll it'll block out it'll be fine um this is the yarn for the contrast I'll use it for the toes as well and here is the cozy no yeah cozy knitter yeah cozy knitter tag for the last last month and then the contrast which is here so I'm housing this in my um Mountain State Stitches bag. I just dropped it. Um, this is in my Mountain State Stitches bag by Jenny. Uh, my camper one. And I am just knitting along on those. Doing a stripe a day most of the time. Although I have done a few where I've done two. Or missed a day and had to do two again. So it's all good. And Stephanie's been having the same thing happen. So we're just chugging along on these. And they should be finished objects next time. The other one is another long-term project. I hate having long-term projects, but this one I am getting some work done. Um, so this is going to be the Star Wars sweater by Natalie Meredith. This is a, a Star Wars sweater that I am making for my husband. Um, and I have actually gotten some work done on it. So I'm feeling really, really happy with myself that I have done some. I am housing this in my Cottontail Farms bag. This one, I really need to get some new bags. I was looking earlier on um, its Etsy at some, so maybe I will get some new project bags. Bless you. <clears throat> I am using, sorry, this was the mess today, but I am using Heritage 6 yarn, and I'm using it in, I believe it is real black and silver gray. I think the little thing says true black. Maybe I'll change it. It's real black is what it's called. Um, I'm making this size 56 and I am working on it. I'm also using um, a US 4 3.5 millimeter needle, which is quite a couple sizes smaller than what the pattern calls for. But apparently I am a loose knitter. I don't know. Anyways, before I podcasted, I went over this with some tape to try to get all the dog hair off of it. So please know that I have tried 
but it still doesn't look like I tried. <laughs> um, so just keep that in mind. But last time we spoke, I was right here, right by in between Vader's head. And I picked this up, I think three or four nights ago, and I finished the top part. So this is the back side of the sweater. Um, and I have messed up on some of the color work. It's not the absolute best, but I think it looks okay. I'm really excited. I love how, I'm trying not to hit the mic. I love how Vader looks and the little TIE Fighters. It's so, so fun. So um, hopefully that was in focus, but look at it. So the TIE Fighters definitely look better on the top. I'm going to have to go back and fix some of the ones on the bottom, I think, but that's okay. So last time I was where my little Ewok is. Let me take this off. Here we go. This little Ewok is from Simply Serving. And I'm going to switch him over to the front side. So this is the front side. And I have just finished the decreases to where I need to be for the color work on the front. So tonight, hopefully, or tomorrow, I'm going to start the color work for the front um, and then just keep on going from there. I think I'm almost 100% sure I'm going to run out of yarn because I have like a little bit, I have this much yarn in the black left. Um, and then I have what fell on the floor here, this bit that I'm working with right now. Um, and I think I'm going to run out. So I'm just waiting to see how much I think I'm going to need. Cause right now I'm not sure how much the, um, the sleeves are really going to need. Um, and they're mostly black and I think I might have to adapt the sleeves a little bit, um, just to make them fit better. But I'm going to wait till I run out of black yarn to, to order more black yarn because I don't want to order too little and I don't want to order too much. I want to try to get just as much as I need on it. Um, so I am, would love, love, love to have this done next podcast. I'm not sure that's going to happen, but that is my goal. So I'm going to try really hard to work on this and to try and get it done. So we'll see. So my last work in progress, I haven't actually started yet, but I was dying to start it last night, but I made myself do the rest of the decreases on the sweater and my, um, color on my socks and then it was time to go to bed. <laughs> so, um, I'm hoping to maybe start it tonight or tomorrow or sometime this week for sure. Well, I guess tomorrow is the last day of the week. So I want to start it this weekend. <laughs> um, but I am thinking of actually making a crochet shawl. I used to love crocheting. Like that was my passion. I did it for years and years and years. Um, and I've always just loved like a granny stripe or a granny square. It's just so beautiful. Um, but I just haven't found a lot of enjoyment in doing crochet recently. Um, and it also really hurts my wrist when I do it. Some way that I crack my wrist, I can hear it cracking literally when I'm, when I'm knit or crocheting. Um, so I just haven't really done a lot of crocheting recently, but Allie of, um, what is it? Little Drops of Wonderful and This Little Wonderful Life. She has made two beautiful granny stripe shawls. Um, she used her homespun house advent from 2023 and made one. You can see it right here. Um, and she's also made a really huge scrappy one. And I just think that it is so, so beautiful. So I think I'm going to give it a go. I'm not 100% sure that that's what I'll end up, I'll finish it. I'm not sure if that's like what we're going to, I might rip it out and do something different. I don't know, but I want to start it and see if I enjoy it, if I like it and just go with it. So we're going to try the pattern that I am going to be using is the one that Allie used and it is granny wrap by Anna Boo's house. Um, she used a size D, which is a 3.25 millimeter hook. And I, I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm also going to use my blush yarns advent from last year. Um, so we're going to see how it goes. I'm hoping that it works out really well. If not, then I think 
I'm going to knit a shawl, like a really basic one, but I'm not sure. So I actually went and bought a, well, I didn't go anywhere. I ordered it off Amazon, but I got a new hook. Thought maybe that would help to kind of make me want to knit or to crochet it. Um, this is a Clover Amore, I think, which I believe everyone says is really good. When I was um, crocheting, I just basically used just the regular ones. They didn't really have the fancy ones yet. Um, so I'm excited to use this and to do it. I haven't really crocheted very much with fingering weight yarn. Mostly it was worsted or DK weight that I used before, um, which is another reason why I think maybe I'm just not wanting to crochet anything really because I used set heavier weight yarn before, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> but this is my Blush Yarns Advent. And this is what I'm going to be using. I'm going to start with number one over here and knit through it. So we will see. We'll see how it goes. I'm not promising that it's going to finish that way, but it might. We'll just see. Um, so I had some other patterns that I was also considering. One is Moving Forward Wrap by Denise Byron. Um, and you can see it on the screen here. I thought that was a really, really pretty wrap. It's actually someone in our membership who made that one um, and I just fell in love with it. So that's something I might make in the future. Another one is the Grand Opening Shawl, which is by Stephanie Lotvin. And then I also really like the Lava Lake shawl by Stephen West. Um, so those are three that were also options if this one doesn't work out. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, it's all Allie's fault because I absolutely love how beautiful her shawls are. And yeah, it's making me want to do it. So we'll see how it goes and come back next time. Hopefully it'll at least be hooked on and we'll be working on it. Oh life, oh life. <laughs> it's been a couple weeks. Um, so last time when I podcasted, I said that Felicity had been sick, and she was, and then Grayson promptly got sick, um, and then I promptly got sick. Then Brian started feeling kind of bad, and then Kai got sick, and then Brian got it fully. Um, and then we found out it was COVID. So I was like, you know, was, I was thinking it was either a cold or like the flu or something because um, we just had like really, it's a lot of congestion and just tired and miserable pretty much. So the kids all got it and felt really, really bad for like two days and then they were pretty much back to normal. But Brian and I, on the other hand, have been exhausted. So, um... I have been sick for over a week now. I just, like, two days ago was the first time I actually felt like doing anything. Um, I cleaned the whole house because it was a disaster and it was driving me crazy and I just could not sit any longer. Um, so, then I was completely wiped out. I, like, couldn't do anything. Um, so, yeah, it's just been... It's been a wasteful two weeks is what it feels like. You know when you're sick and you just feel like you wasted so much time because you didn't do anything? <sighs> That's what I felt like. But I'm starting to finally feel better. Brian went back to work for the first time today. Um, and yeah, it's just a bummer. It's just no fun. We're very lucky that like we don't have any like really bad side effects to it. This is actually, I think the third time that we have had COVID, um, the third time in the third January. So it's something about January. I don't know what it is, but I'm not, I'm over it. I'm just over it. So it's been a blah kind of start to the, the, um, the year we've been do wearing masks if we have to go anywhere and do any, and things like that. Um, cause we have to get groceries, you know, we have to eat. So you have to get stuff sometimes, but that's what the last two weeks has been. I did do a lot of, a lot of knitting as you will have seen. So that was nice. I did feel up to doing that, which was a big, a big plus for sure. Um, but we're just, we're just waiting to feel better right now. But other than that, everything, that's everything. So, um, 
Bird is doing well. He is very, very loud. Um, he, you will not have seen, but I tried to start this podcast like six times and he would not be quiet. So he got put in a carrier and taken to Felicity's room. Um, that's the first time that's happened, but I was like, I can't handle it. So he's in there. Kitten is doing wonderful. She is an absolute mess and absolutely adorable and we love her. Um, there's really not much that interesting to say. Yesterday I did seven loads of laundry, um, which was good and felt good to get done. I mean, I didn't enjoy doing it, but it got done. And one of those loads was literally, I think every pair of knitted socks in this house. Um, and a lot of them last night when I went to bed, there were socks laid everywhere, just trying to dry them. Cause I wash them in the washer, but I don't dry them. Um, so I have a huge pile in the shower that are still, um, drying, but hopefully by tonight they'll be all dry and I can put them all away. Um, but I'm so glad to have them all. I was like down to my last pair and I need them to wear. So I did do a lot of TV watching while, while sick. Um, there's a very long list here, so we will just go through it fairly quickly. I am watching Dr. Quinn again after a fog mist finished. I finally got back to it. I'm on season four about halfway through. Um, we watched, um, Finding Your Roots with, um, it's so good. It's on PBS if you've never checked it out. It is just, it's so fun to watch. I love finding out about people's history. Um, then All Creatures Great and Small and Miss Scarlet and the Duke are back on PBS and I am enjoying their two new seasons. Um, with Felicity, we watched the Hunger Games Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Um, I think we rented, or no, we bought it on Amazon, I believe, and it was good. Um, different than I thought it was going to be and I wasn't a big fan of Lucy Gray. I'm just going to put it out there. But it was a good movie. I enjoyed it. Um, then we watched this documentary on Amazon called Jonathan and Jesus. And it's about Jonathan Rumi who plays Jesus in the Chosen series. And it was so good. I think there was three episodes. It follows him from like season three to season four when they begin filming. Um, just kind of his life and some of his testimony and some, he talks to like Francis Chan, who I am a huge fan of, um, and different people. And it was just really, really good. We really enjoyed watching that. Um, and then we also watched Jesus Revolution, which is a movie that is currently on Netflix. Um, it also has, um, Jonathan Rumi in it and he plays, um, kind of like a prophet preacher. Um, but that was really, really good. And it's also based on real events. Um, so I definitely suggest you watch that if you haven't. It's a really good, it's a really good movie. I enjoyed that. Um, and then the last thing that I want to say, it's probably the thing that I enjoyed the absolute most over the last two weeks was I found the Artful Dodger on Hulu. That was such a good show. I enjoyed it so, so much. Um, I put it on one night cause I didn't know what to watch. Um, I wasn't feeling good and I was like, oh, I heard this was good. I'll just try it. And it started and I was like, I don't know if I'm going to like this, but I'll give it through the end of the episode. I was hooked by the end of the episode. It was so, so good. If you like period dramas, this one's kind of like a period drama, but not a hundred percent realistic with like kind of modern music type things. I want to say kind of like Bridgerton, but not, I don't know. It was really, really good and I really enjoyed it. So that is all of the notes I have for about all the energy I have. Um, if you've never had COVID, I'm so thankful that you haven't, but oh my gosh, it is exhausting. Like it just drains like every fiber out of you. Um, so I'm going to go sit down. Actually, no, I have a lot of stuff to do, but I'm going to be done chatting with you. So I will talk to you guys next time. And I hope you guys have a healthy, happy rest of January. Hey, y'all. It's Beth. Hey, y'all. It's Bethany with the Wandering Pearl Podcast. Hey y'all. Hey. Oh my god. Tweets. Quiet. Quiet.
My second finished. Blah, blah, blah. 